today, we are going to do something a bit more chill and relaxed. We're going to take it back to all of our childhoods, I believe. Something a bit more classic. We're going to do a tuna fish sandwich. I know that sounds a little too basic, but nah, we're going to bump those flavors up. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? In my bowl, I already have two cans of albacore tuna. In water, not oil. We want to keep it nice and chunky. All right, let me go ahead and finish working this up. Now I'll start putting in our spices. This is where it's gonna get a little bit more untraditional, right? First off, we're gonna start with some mayo. Now I know that is nothing different, but I'm using the sunflower um, mayo, which is really good. But traditional mayo, it works just fine. All right, so there's our mayo. We're gonna add some salt. I'm using some uh, coarse sea salt at the moment. So about a teaspoon-ish. Fresh cracked pepper, which I love. So put a nice little helping of pepper in there. Good old classic garlic powder. Now I, I can totally use the whole bottle of this and anything I use, but I'm gonna really be nice today and put just a bit. So probably about two teaspoons I'm using right now, maybe a little more. Some dried parsley. Once again, we're, we're putting a whole new remix on a classic tuna. Pepper flakes. Some good old red pepper flakes. I like heat in my food, so there we go. Capers. Now, if you haven't tried capers before, I suggest giving them a little taste on the side. They are nice and briny, I'm not gonna lie. A little salty but I love capers, very much so. A couple tablespoons of capers. I'm gonna save this one for last, cause that's, that's, that's the one that's gonna really flip this dish over. Lemon zest, I'd say a good tablespoon-ish of lemon zest. And if you use the zest, you might as well use the juice, right? I don't like to put too much lemon juice in it because I don't like it too wet with the mayo and everything. So I'll put like a few, maybe like, i say like a half a teaspoon actually, but you can go back and put more in if you want. I like to have a little crunch to my tuna fish sandwiches. So I'm gonna add some diced carrots. Another crunch aspect, two more crunchy aspects to this. We're gonna add some red onion. I just minced these really, really quickly. So we are going to add some celery. Now, once again, I know this may sound a little bit different, but trust me, it is going to be so good. This is a secret weapon here. This is curry powder. I know, go ahead and smack the camera, but I love curry powder, and it, is, it gives this dish, well, tuna fish, a whole new flavor that is really, to me, just Takes it there. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and start mixing everything together. Oh man. Yeah, already smells so good. All right, we have one more thing to add. Flat leaf parsley is an amazing herb. It goes in everything, with everything, and it's just so refreshing and, and just so flavorful, honestly. All right, so I'm gonna chop it up, some parsley, I'm gonna sprinkle down in there. Give it a nice little toss. We're done. Uh, you wanna come test this for me? Uh-oh. All right, tell me what you think. You guys, can you guys hear that crunch? I'm sure you can. Mm, it's really good. Uh-huh. I'd like it a tad bit more wet. A little bit more, of course. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do this, this one time, make this work. Hello? Did you leave? I only called you 12 times. Any more seasoning or was it seasoning okay? Seasoning was great. I'm not going any wetter than that now. Perfect. All right. All right, hold on for your sandwich. So, I already toasted my English muffin, and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my sandwich. So, I like to start with some, um, that is the bottom. <laughs> I like to start with some 
uh, vegetable first, a, a leafy green, and in this case I'm using Swiss chard. Now if you have lettuce or kale or even a collard green, I've used that before too, by all means go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack this bay really, really nice and high. Add some thinly sliced onion, nice juicy tomato, and another piece of char. Now I'm going overboard with the char. Feel free to take out all of it <laughs> or keep it. It's up to you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top. Here we go. A nice thick hearty tuna fish sandwich. That we really didn't do anything special to. We just add a few more ingredients, right? So listen, if you want to grab your beer, some chips, a pickle to go along with this, by all means, knock yourself out. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Alright, until the next episode, I'm Haas Manning. Join me on Man in the Fork. I'm going in for this one. Follow my workplace.